And if you think because you offer your baby something during the first year of their life and even as they are grown now, you offer them something and they decline it, especially six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, the first year of their life, and they decline it, you think, oh, she doesn't like it. I see them in my comment section. Stop giving your baby that, she doesn't like it. Go and give your baby better food, really. The food, those cereals that are filled with sugar, why wouldn't the baby like it? So when they finish taking all those things, all those store-bought cereals that are too sweet, you keep wasting your money. Oh, I wish I was in Nigeria, which there are some grains. You see Tom Brown, there are some grains. See pap. Those are nutritious food you can give your baby. Over here, there are there are every every every, every location differs. Yeah? If you're in Nigeria, you get healthy grains that you can offer your baby. I'm in the UK here. I'm a bit limited with the grains, like corn, like to make pap, Tom Brown, and all those things. But I still use what I have here to make nutritious food for my girls, for my babies. So no matter your location, there will be something. You don't need to say, oh, she's always giving her baby wheat bix, wheat bix. And she's adding this baby biscuit. There's like a lazy emergency um, breakfast I give my baby. And then I add some berries, which some people still complain. What kind of disgusting food is that? You might not have all those things, yeah? Depending on your country, you can't easily reach them. But there is something that you have that is nutritious. Nigeria, I'm talking about Nigeria, other countries, I'm sure. Because I have a lot of people watching me from there. You don't have to break the banks to give your baby food. There are nutritious food that you can make yourself. You don't have to depend on those store-bought food that are loaded with sugar. You're feeding your baby. Some people still feed their baby golden mo. Golden mo is not even advisable for baby under three days old. Some of you still feed your baby. You want to make pap for a, a baby under two. You're adding um, choco, this hot chocolate or milo. You're adding it with the whole sugar content. Anyway, the baby will eat and be happy. So the day you don't bring that one, the baby cannot eat any other food again because it's not sweet. They don't even need all those processed sugar. They don't need it. At some point, at some point throughout the day, baby will have sugar. Kids, apart from baby, older kids, they will have sugar. They might take juice. They might take um, other food that contain um, sugar. So you need to start now and avoid those extra sugar. If you want to buy cereal for your kids, go for the low sugar option, not those cornflakes that are already loaded with, coated with sugar, or those Witterbeaks that are filled with, with sugar, or the Cocoa Pops filled with sugar. Now the kids are used to that. Nothing, it's hard for you to change it. Young mothers, especially those that have babies. You know their their palette as is still plain. Whatever you put, just like a plain canvas, whatever you put on it, that is what will remain there. So start now. Cut down on those sugar. Don't add extra sugar. Trust me, they don't care. You're you're making life difficult for them now, but you don't know. You're making life difficult for them because when they grow to become an adult like you, most of them they will start struggling with diabetes. See children now, young age diabetes they will start struggling with one health condition or the other it's not a portion but if they have a good foundation i believe i'm not i'm not an expert i, I won't say i've overcome like i've uh, uh, no i would say that but there is something i, I, I there's the way i want my kids to grow like uh, there's the way i want them to see food and understand food so they won't see all this normal thing they see on the every day even if they go to school what they see their friends eating they won't see it as a normal way to eat we shouldn't be like that so start now to help them to see that this is the real food this is the food this is normal now myself i love ah some color there's a way i will eat like a thief i'll be eating like a thief but you don't eat like a thief you don't eat vegetable like a thief <laughs> 
eating pizza and burger like a thief all those high carbohydrates because if you eat those things like a thief fill it up fill it up with vegetable then one should be fine but if we are struggling with eating well why do we want to pass over that struggle with our kids yes how did we grow up how did our parents grow up how did they eat they were eating they were not they were, most of them said they don't even they don't even they don't even eat processed ultra processed food they are still healthy they, yes they ate a lot of carbohydrate most of our food is high carbohydrate but they they were burning it off they were burning it off they were going to farm they were taking walks now we're in a let's say lazy era life made easy you you see me now want to drop my kids at school i'll think of how to walk 10 minutes walk i'll think of it finish then i'll now drive for three minutes and come back and i'll feel i'll feel like i i i just saved myself st stress which now i'm trying let's take that walk let me burn a little bit of calorie so after eating all those things everything everything you can't even burn it off you eat carbohydrate add it up with ultra processed everything jam packed then one will start struggling you start struggling oh god so let's help the kids if we help the kids it's 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 one of the best thing as a parent you must have done for your child for them to see that the what they are seeing now is not actually real food the weather today one minute is sunny the next minute is like it wants to rain <laughs> <laughs>